I'm an artist and I paint with all mediums and I've been doing this with mostly canvases. It's not hard in the way if you love what you're doing. It's not hard. It's actually very fulfilling and enjoying. My job during the pandemic has slowed down because I'm also in the entertainment industry and there's been no money, no places or venues to exhibit or have events. So with that respect, it hasn't been very good financially. I, I was looking for work. I was behind on bills and, and like we all are, you know, we're trying to find some work that might be good for us and build our resume. So I saw this ad on Craigslist looking for models, Cafe Press, and I was excited because Cafe Press is a legit company. So a legitimate company having an ad out saying they have over 300 employees. So it, it, it really did look convincing. I had contacted them and said, I'm interested. And they give an application and ask for your measurements as a model, what height you are and your experience and all these things. It looked like I say, a, leg a legitimate job. So I did that, filled it out. And they got back to me and said, congratulations, you are now a model for Cafe Press. And I was really excited and they, said, we're gonna send you a check for $1,500, something around that amount. And here's what you need to do. Immediately pay, and then they had a list of people to pay and addresses. And that was very strange to me. And I asked, well, okay, if you're sending me a check, paying me for my work ahead of time, why do I have to pay other people? So. I remember that day, like just feeling excited and then all of a sudden confused and what are, what is this? What are they asking me to do this for? It didn't make any sense. So it went from excited, just feeling happy to very confused. Red flags are when they're extremely polite, but very demanding. <laughs> Kindly put money in your account right now. <laughs> They've had a lot of demands and you could just tell by the way they're desperately contacting you. Sometimes it's aggressive, sometimes lots of emails in a short span of time or texts. Sometimes several texts, get this credit card, deposit that money now. Did you deposit it yet? It's just, you can see already the red flags with that. But even prior to even communicating with them, a red, a red flag is just that, why would anyone be reaching out to you and then want you to give them money? That, that's always a bad sign. If they're reaching out to you, that is a half and half where it could be something like a scam. Because if you want a product, you can reach out to them and <laughs> you can look for the company yourself. So I just think that that's the biggest red flag. thousand dollars maybe or fifteen hundred i think i'm sorry it was fifteen hundred and it was just a lot of back and forth here's the check deposited immediately it was again you know very aggressive and i went to the bank and said is this check legitimate is this something that i should not deposit and the banker actually was part of the problem too and said oh it's fine and they put it in and that's when i got hurt by it because the money came in but then as soon as it came in, they it, it, it was gone. And then they flagged me for fraud. The banks will punish you, even if somebody gave you a bad check or a scam you. So that's something. The best way to get out of it is just not get into it. <laughs> Don't answer those strange emails or texts why is someone reaching out to you? Always question that. Why are they reaching out to us? Yeah, don't get into it in the first place. But to get out of it, if you do, you contact your bank, you do your best to just contact everyone. You report it to the FBI, 
there's a fraud department. Those are the steps you can take to fix it, but just be persistent and try to get it off your record.